Welcome. Now in this module, we're going to take a look at change management, very important subject. And this is the third in the series of modules. You can have a look at the URL for the complete description of ITIL change management best practices. This is the overall diagram from ITIL showing service strategy and the service reporting and service measurement goals as part of continual process improvement. And of course, we're talking about the blue shaded change management. So let's take a look at change management roles. The change initiator, so this is a role, the change initiator recognizes and identifies the need for change. The initiator should be someone who works directly with support services tools. Members of your team in the initiation team who provide support services to customers may be best suited for this position due to their frequent interaction with the system. Then we have the change coordinator who assesses requests for change that originate from incident management, problem management, release management, or continuity management. The change coordinator registers changes as needed to handle requests for change or receives change requests from other change initiators, determines the risk and impact for requested changes. And finally, prepares implementation plans by creating tasks and monitors the progress of changes. And you have the change manager, who is generally needed in mid-size and larger organizations. If your IT department is part of a larger company, you will need to pick one or multiple persons to perform the role of change manager. These individuals are responsible for managing change procedures, receiving and prioritizing change requests, evaluating the risk level associated with requests, and keeping thorough records of the outcome of each change. You have the change advisory board plays an extremely important part and they are responsible for authorizing and approving changes and further evaluating requests when the change manager determines that there is a high risk associated with these requests. The board takes into account the impact that a requested change may have on all the affected parties and they represent the organization and try to determine if, this, if the change is required justified, valid. When these high-risk changes are brought to the attention of the change advisory board, the board will schedule a meeting with a detailed agenda to, to determine how to proceed. And then you have the approver who decides whether to approve or reject the change, and this approver may or may not be in the change advisory board. You have the change implementation team that consists of specialists on your team who are responsible for actually making the change once the change request is approved by the change advisory board. And then you will likely be part of this team and employees directly under you may also be assigned to implement the changes, which is the change, uh, the, the team which will implement the change. As an IT manager, you will often be responsible for overseeing the changes as well. So IT manager, has to make sure that the entire process goes well. That's all that we have for this module. Thank you.